Today, we got some awesome fishing hook hacks. Yeah, you heard me, fishing hook hacks. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I really do think that some of these hacks are gonna help you, so let's get started on them. Fishing hook hack number one. This hook hack is one of my favorites. These are treble hook covers, and you can find these on Amazon. You can find them in any color. You can find them in all different sizes. The ones I have sitting here, or small, medium, and large. I bought a variety pack because I got all kinds of treble hooks. A lot of guys that do the bass fishing videos, they use rubber bands to hold their treble hooks together to keep their lures from getting tangled up. But I don't hear many people talking about treble hook covers. And these things are awesome. You can put these on all of your lures. Well, you take them out of your box, you ain't gotta worry about getting stuck by a bunch of trouble hooks. And the cool thing is you can tie this on your line before you remove the covers. That way you ain't getting treble hooks and everything. But you can throw these things in and out of your box. You don't get no hooks in you. And you ain't got that big old tangled mess that everybody else has in their tackle box. But I really do like these treble hook covers. And you can get like 100, 250 of these things for almost nothing. All you do is you take a lure, you hold the hook, you just push it on until it snaps. Once it's snapped on there, it don't come back off. I mean, these things are on there solid. Now, another thing that these things are handy for, if you're a fisherman and you know this hook right here, it ain't too bad. It's on the hook keeper, but that front hook right there, it'll start all kinds of trouble. But you can put one of these hook covers on it and it ain't gonna get tangled up on nothing. So I do recommend getting some of these hook covers cause they're awesome. Which fish has the worst hair? I don't know. The mullet. What's that got to do with hooks? It had you hooked, didn't it? Fishing hook act number two. These hooks right here are from Nocturnal Nation. This hook right here is called the Nocturnal Nasty because it's nasty, I guess. This hook right here is called the Pig Sticker because it's a pig sticker. You know what I'm saying? This hook right here is a circle hook and it's called the a circle hook you know what i'm saying anyway they're pretty awesome hooks but something i really like about them is this little sleeve they put on them it's basically for when you snail and you're not so it stops it from slipping as much i did this on hack video one time before but i'm going to include it on this video too this right here is some heat shrinking tube that i got from harbor freight and it comes with just about any size that you're going to need there's like seven different sizes in this box i'm just saying and you can take your regular old hook and take your heat shrink figure out which size fits on it snugly and once you get it on there i leave a little bit of the heat shrink hanging over the eye, just a little bit. Then you just take a heat gun, like this one right here, and you heat up that shrink tube until it shrinks all the way down. Well, when you're finished, you done made you a hook that's got that sleeve on it that will hold your snail knot from slipping. You see what I'm saying? Once you snail your line on it, it kind of gives the line something to grip to instead of just raw steel. I mean, I use this stuff all the time. This is my preferred hook. It's a 28 out circle hook with 300 pound test leader. Like I've told y'all in the past, I catch big fish. I'm just saying. The main thing I try to do when I'm doing this is see how I got the heat shrink tube up on the eye. On all hooks, where it bends around and meets, there's a tiny little gap there and you don't wanna get your line hung in that. Well, one thing that this is good for is you can cover up that gap so your line never gets hung in it. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Hack number three. This right here is called a hook easy. These hook easies aren't that expensive. I actually got two in the pack. If you open this thing up, it's got all these little slots made in it and they are made for different size hooks. For example, this is a small circle hook. You put your small circle hook in there like that right there. Then you just close it. Now that circle hook can't come out of there. It's locked in. So now we can take this thing and we can snail this hook and we don't have to worry about getting poked by the sharp end. And after you're through snailing, you can pull it tight 
And you know that's kind of aggravating with the circle hook because you'll poke yourself while you're pulling it tight if you don't hold it with pliers or something. But the cool thing about this is it's not just for snailing hooks. You can put jig heads in this thing. Now you can tie on your jig and after you get it all tied on, then you can put your soft plastic on it. It'll even hold a weedless jig head. That's pretty cool. You see these holes right here, how they're different sizes? That's for different size hooks. Actually, I had that one in the wrong hole. <laughs> now I don't check around or nothing. But the coolest thing about this thing, because it has this little latch on the end, it also doubles as a hook cover. You stick your hook in this end, you can click the other end onto one of your eyes, or preferably your hook keeper. Then when you get to the lake and you decide to fish, all you gotta do is take your hook out of it and you can fish. But while you're on your way to the lake, your hook ain't getting hung in everything and that's pretty awesome. One more small thing, it's actually got a little line cutter on the back of it, which I'm not sure how good it is or how long it'll last, but it's still cool that it's on there. Before the price of these things, they kinda cool. Fishing hook hack number four. Now, this right here is just a double hook rig. This rig right here is actually the same rig that I used when I carp fished. And when you carp fish, you want real short leaders because you want your pops staying close to your bait because your pops is what catches the fish. Now, on this hook over here, you probably already noticed I painted it. When you're carp fishing, you put a pop on both hooks. Then you take your bait and you kind of wrap it around your hooks and your pops. You pack it real tight until you make it into a ball. Then when you cast it in the water, it begins to fall apart. After the bait falls apart, the pops pop out of the bait and float above it. When the carp come along, they suck up the bait, they suck up the pop, and they're hooked. Now you can get all kinds of flavors. And what this is, is oil. It says it right there, O-I-L-S, oil. Flavored oils stay on those pops for a really long time. That's why if you ever watched the video where I had the five best catfish baits, I had garlic chicken on it. Most people's garlic chicken is made by using powdered garlic. I like using minced garlic because it's packed in oil and oil stays on your bait longer because water don't break down oil fast. Know what I'm saying? The reason for the painted hook is because I can put a flavored pop on the painted hook and on the plain hook, I can just put a plain pop and see which one the fish prefer. Well, the reason I'm bringing up this hack because even if you're catfishing, you can do the same thing. You can put a chicken liver on the painted hook, piece of shrimp on the other hook, according to which hook was in its mouth, you would know what it preferred. That's kind of a simple hack, but it really does work. By the way, I do have several videos about making carp bait if you like the carp fish. Hook hack number five. Now the safety pin hack has been done on every YouTube channel out there, except mine. And if I don't do it, there'll be people in the comment section saying, Fishing is stuff. You didn't do the safety hook hack. So, here it is. A safety pin hook storage. You are welcome. <clears throat> really? Fishing hook hack number six. As you can see, this hook is not new. There's still a piece of little bait on that one because you can see where I snailed it before and I cut it off and threw it back on my tackle box. As long as my hook ain't all rusty or beat up or scratched up, you can take a hook sharpener like this one right here or you can use one of these fancy hook sharpeners. I got these off Amazon. They're pretty cheap. I got two of them for like $7, I think. <laughs> This one has one groove right in the center. It's just a regular old wet rock. This one here is one of the diamond blades and it has a groove here and it has two grooves here. But you can take these sharpeners and you can sharpen your old hooks. And it's not hard, you just rub it back and forth. It's at least as sharp as it was when it was new. This here is a new one and this is the one I sharpened. Mmm, they pretty close. But like I said, that's a good tip that will save you some money and some time. Fishing hook hack number seven. 
Now, something I really like on hooks is an offset. And you can look at this hook. If I push on it, it don't move. It's straight and there's no offset. So you can actually see the offset on it laying flat on the table. And of course, if you pick it up, you can see the offset really good. Though I don't advise doing this all the time, I do do this on occasion. If I have a hook that's not offset and I need it to have an offset, I just take two pair of pliers, grab the shank and grab the point end when you grab it with the pliers you have to work it easy don't try to torque down on it or you're going to break or you're going to bend your hook just bend back and forth with a little bit of force and when you through you can see this hook has offset and this hook has offset and you can actually see it looking at it from the front now i've did this a lot in the past and i've never had no trouble with it but be really careful when you do it because you don't want to make your hooks weak that's all i'm saying fishing hook hack number eight this right here is called a hook keeper. And nowadays, most rods have hook keepers made on them. These are Hellcats, which are made by Big Cat Fever, but like I said, most rods do have hook keepers made on them now. The eye of your rod is not made for a hook to be in it, like I done right here. <laughs> But this rod does not have a hook keeper on it. By the way, if you are going to stick a hook in the eye of your rod, don't stick it in the eye. Stick it on the part that holds the eye on because you don't want to scratch this eye up. It can tear your line up. But since we don't have a hook keeper on this rod, we're going to put one on it. By the way, this ain't a new hack. This is something that's been around a long time. But you can get zip ties in every color under the sun. And of course, you can get them in white and black too. But if you take a zip tie and then get your a split ring stick your zip tie through your split ring then wrap it around the place that you want it on the rod now preferably pick a low spot this is a high spot this is a high spot this is a low spot that way it'll stay in that low spot zip it on there tight clip the end off well after you're done you made yourself a hook keeper that's actually kind of cool you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying yes we know what you say because you say it at least 10 times every video you Hack number nine. Okay, so this is a regular hook. It's just a regular old hook. This is a red hook. You can tell it's red, right? Okay. Companies are starting to make hooks red because they say it mimics blood. I don't make up the rules, people. I just tell you about them, okay? Well, take you a can of spray paint and then spray your hook. Problem solved. Fishing hook hack. Number 10. Now this right here is called a treble hook. They come on all kinds of baits. They even come on rooster tails. Let's say you got a rooster tail and you're on your way trout fishing. I actually learned this hack from a game warden, believe it or not. Because the laws in trout fishing are crazy. They change all the time. I went trout fishing one day with my rooster tail and I asked the game warden what the rules were that time of year and he said a single barbless hook. Well, what you could do to your rooster tail is you could cut off two of these J hooks. You see that little barb on there? I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of tiny, but you can take needle nose pliers, mash your barb down flat. According to the game warden I talked to, this is legal for a single barbless hook. And the moral to the story is check the laws before you go trout fishing because they crazy. So there you have it. Some awesome fishing hook acts that'll help you when you're out on the water fishing. Maybe, I don't know. Hey, if you like this video right here, then you should check out this video right here because you're probably gonna like it better. Maybe. Anyway, like I said, go check it out because this video is over. <laughs>